Hi guys, I'm Ed. And I'm Harry. Welcome to the very first day of Embrace Your Geek Week. That's right, but this week we're trying to raise some awareness about mental health issues by talking about the things that we love and why we're not ashamed at all to love them. Exactly. So one of us is going to show the other one a show that we very much love that the other one has never really seen and has never really cared for. Starting off, it's me. And for me, it's got to be My Little Pony. I get it. It's strange. A grown man liking a show for eight-year-old girls, five-year-old girls, I don't even know what the age is for. Yeah, it is but odd. I first got introduced to the show when I heard about bronies and the My Little Pony fandom. And at first, I was quite weirded out. I thought, why do these grown men like this show? What's going on? What's wrong with them? That turned to curiosity. I eventually watched the show myself, and I was hooked. Five years later, I'm a guy that goes to conventions, meets the stars, all that kind of stuff, and I love it. And I'm not. So, time for me to watch one. So I chose this episode for you purely because you've been a bit scathing about the uh, musical numbers in the past, and uh, this one features a quite nice one. I thought you might enjoy it. Well, I've been scathing about everything about it in the past, to be honest. That's me. Who's that? Pinkie Pie. Are you in the last 22 minutes? I'm, I'm not sure here. The main attraction. Uh, all the episodes, puns. Some of them. Like yeah, that, that, that's a cutie mark. Every every pony has a cutie mark to symbolise um, why who they are and like what their destiny is. Like a really lame tattoo. I wouldn't say lame. I'd say you know. <laughs> I, I I don't know what I'd say. Why is there a dragon? Oh, so that's Spike. That's um Twilight's pet dragon. Who's um, who's Twilight? Twilight's the purple one. She's the main character. There's a main character? Yes, it's all about her. She travels to um, Ponyville to study friendship under the uh, tutorial of Princess Celestia. And um, that's where she makes friends and uh, so on. Equestria, the land I love, a land of harmony. Our flag does wave from high above. For oh, this is really hard to watch. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. I get why it's strange that I like this show. I, I do understand that stigma. Though. But that's what this week's about. I know. Positivity. See if you can spot who this is a parody of. It's not Kanye West, is it? Uh, close. That's Kanye West. So far, everything about this is just screams Kanye West. Come on, there must be something a bit more obvious. Lady Gaga? There you go. Step back! Keep your hooves and tails to yourselves! Are they meant to all be stereotypically gay ponies? Why'd you say that? Because of the way they're dressed. What do you mean? What about them? <laughs> How are they dressed gay? They're horses, well, they don't wear clothes. I mean, they, they, do. they, well they do. Some of them do. Now that's how you make an entrance. See? <laughs> You've gotten everything you've ever wanted. Oh, wait. The fact that he said that means this episode will turn out that she doesn't have everything she ever wanted. And that it's all going to resolve really well at the end and show her that everything she has now isn't what she wanted, but she had it all along. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Lucky for you, I have the biggest straw collection in Equestria. I call this straw Fernando. That was a genuine laugh there. Yeah, that was. It's beautifully animated, I'll give it that. Yeah, it's nice to see a show animated with Flash, because uh, those are a dime a dozen these days. Does it not say a lot about their episode structure and content that they have to pad it filled with songs to fill the time? Well, I mean, this one's not particularly bad. I mean, there's context. I thought it was going to go a lot longer, Chad actually. Chad rehearse, you know. I mean, we do have to remember this is a kid's show, you know, so having a song to eat them entertain wouldn't I've be never forgotten that this is for small girls. Countess Coloratura's performance wouldn't exist without them. Is she meant to be British or American? It's never really explained. I suppose she does have a... She's a shit, British posh accent. American accent. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not say something we can't take back. That's my favourite pony, though. Oh, Apple know. Bloom and Apple Jacks. Yes, they're part of the Apple family. So yeah, yeah, thanks. All my names yeah. have uh, Apple in them. Sort of. Funny that. You're just saying those things because you're jealous. Oh, here we go. The cliche predictable storyline kicks in now. <laughs> I 
am not Rara. I am Countess Coloratura. Oh, this is sh uh. <laughs> Poor Applejack. There you go, you're halfway through. That's only halfway? <laughs> I like her, she's funny. But the rest of them I'm finding no connection with. This is kind of an episode that focuses heavily on Applejack. Um, I suppose the best thing about the show is that there are six different main characters, each with their own personalities, so I suppose kids can find one they identify with, which is nice. Why does that one have wings? Oh, she's an alicorn, so she's, um, she has both wings and a horn. They're either earth ponies, which have neither, a pegasi, which has a horn, or a unicorn that has... Sorry, the unicorn has the horn, pegasi has the wings. And Twilight, who's the main character, recently got made an alicorn princess, so she has both. Okay. Good luck. The all is lost moment. What a penis. This song may be familiar, but yet it's totally different. Kind of like me, Ra Ra. <sighs> that might have been the worst moment so far. I mean, it, it is a very obvious parallel to Lady Gaga. Um, I'm not sure how many of the kids watching would get that. I hate it. The songs are all very... like they were written by a 13-year-old and have lyric content like they were written by a 13-year-old. I don't think a 13-year-old could write this. I, I wrote <laughs> stuff like this. It's written for 13-year-olds. By 13-year-olds. Well, no, year olds. younger than For 13-year-olds, by 13-year-olds, with 13-year-olds. Stop it. This is awful. Oh. The cutie my crusaders like it. It's like any Kelly Clarkson song ever. <laughs> Doesn't make it a bad song. It does. But look, she found her true self again. All the ponies are cheering for her. Great. Applejack's emotional. That if I was true to myself, I couldn't go wrong. So there you I go. Very there it is. Great moral, you know. What is happening now? No. Let's have the school ponies. We get to sing on stage. God. This is the worst song yet. It's this one. It's amazing how every scene can do something that makes my skin crawl. <laughs> Oh, wasn't that a nice ending? You no. Know? She found her true self, they got to sing on stage. Everybody's happy. Except for me. <laughs> it's over! Yes! <laughs> so, you didn't look like you enjoyed that too much, but now you've got to say three nice things about it. Three? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's animated nicely. The voice acting's good. Yep, very much so. Uh, and it's a, a pretty good animated bastion of friendship and innocence and youngness. There you go, was that so hard? Yeah, that was, but I guess I'm not sure. the target demographic of this, so and I'll hasten to remind you that neither are you. Very true. But, you know, it's fine, and if people do like it, that's what this week is all about. It doesn't matter if you like it, because who cares? Let's destroy the stigma. There you go, what a great message. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Do come back tomorrow when Ed will be showing me Dragon Ball Z for the very first time. Indeed. Very and so, about that. we'll be doing some more embracing of geeks. Indeed. I- oh. See you then, guys. Bye, Zs. Look at this shirt get on me. Ah, you see, caught the fever. Oh, happens like that. Why don't you catch the donating theme and donate to our charity down in the description below? Exactly. Young Minds are a fantastic charity working with young people to help those who have mental illnesses. Mm -hmm. And this is the perfect kind of place to be donating to them. And they can use all the money that they can get. So share it with your friends, share it with your family, and donate. Mm -hmm. Now. Do it. Come on. Jesus. I don't think they're doing it yet. It's a charity! Come on! Money! Come on! Mental illness! Come on! <laughs>